Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today I wanted to build a custom ramp truck and we were going to use this. This is one of those little X-Men trucks that I bought for parts, had nice wheels on it. So now what I was thinking is snip the back end of this off and I got this little ramp deck. We'll fasten that bad boy on there and probably use this dually base, which is part of this ramp truck design. You know, it's kind of a fantasy thing going on here, and I just don't have use for this part, so... We're going to use the cab, though, and it's going to be a little heavy hauler, so it should be cool. So get that out of the way for now, and we'll just get snipping, I guess. I'd say without a doubt, these are my favorite types of projects to do. When I go shopping for Hot Wheels, I see them all as parts. Mm -hmm. Hell yes, we got a big huge hole here we gotta fill. Clearly, I need to clean this up first. As I was looking for the interior for this, I came across something else and I'm shifting gears on this project. Studebaker box. We could make a little stubby hauler. Wouldn't that be awesome? So I think that's definitely the direction that this project needs to go. That yellow is just blinding. Why you gotta do me like that yellow? There we go. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. So this is what has got to happen. Of course I'm already thinking about colors. Definitely not going to be a big yellow banana, I know that for sure. More than likely I'll do what the other guys are doing. Just get a little jar, a stripper, drop it in there. Close the lid. Go. These are probably about done. Totally, totally demolish that paint. So I'm gonna go clean these up. A little bit of hot water, and I'll be back in two seconds. Sweet. Really liking where this is going. Before we get too carried away here, I want to take uh, five minutes to thank my man Joe Howley for sending me some of these little custom handmade surfboards. What do you think of these? I'm hoping he's got like an Instagram or something. You go check them out. These are amazing. Going to be featured on the show. That was way too big for that little box, if you know what I mean. There we go. I'm gonna be using these on the show for like showcasing you know cars and stuff like that so they're gonna be around for a long time hopefully I don't lose them cuz I'm super impressed super duper impressed check it out very cool thanks Joe for sending me these appreciate that bud I'm trying to think if we should try to leave these separate or if we should just connect them together guess it doesn't matter either way I'm gonna do a little bit of body work back here I'm half tempted to just cut the back of this out and then this will lock right into it. Wouldn't that be nice? So we could just custom fab that into the back of there and mm, nice locking box. We'll see. I don't know if it's necessary. As cool as it would be to do, it's probably just a lot of extra work for these two pieces just to fit together like that. So. Let's see how this is going to go on this base. Such a stubby little cab. Why don't you create a really long box, Mr. Diecast? Well, I would, Timmy, but... Probably going to be getting rid of these steps because this is no longer a big high-riding truck. So 
so these steps would be kind of silly possibly yeah I might leave that little step now that I think about it. it's kind of cool round the edge on it and catch that thing right in the shin so I should probably probably take care of that I need a little bit of water. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. My gloves are going to get messed up anyways. It's just cringy watching this part. Again, this is clearly way more than we need, but you saw how easy it is to trim off on that big banger video. It's just not even not even an issue if you put on too much. It just doesn't doesn't matter at all. Something like that. I'm just gonna let that harden up, and I might even make the little slots that'll accept our box. Keep it nicely aligned. So I'm gonna throw this on my old heat rack for curing paint, and this will be ready to go. And I don't know. We'll probably start working on it in a couple minutes. Right, all right, all right. It's been about 10 minutes. This is still hot to the touch. Actually, un uncomfortably warm. So I'm going to give that a second. Yep. Another day of die casting. All right, let's go to work here. So I'm not actually filing, but I'm more scraping, if that makes sense. I think that's as good as it's going to get at this point. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. This is going to be cool. So I'm going to cut what we need to cut to uh, get these little pieces to fit in there like a puzzle. Okay, after a lot of adjusting, a lot of filing, a lot of fitting, I think we are in a happy spot right now. Okay, I just give that a little clean. You can throw a little skiff of putty on the back here, get that done, get that sanded. And then I'm going to JB these together. I've really been enjoying this. To me, a putty, it's been good to me. I understand why everybody else is using it. I get it. I get it. So I'm going to give that a few minutes to set up and we can finish sanding and then I'm going to JB. Alright, that is going to work for me. So I think we can go ahead and put these together now. I'm going to glue it in place first just to hold it where I want. And then I'll put the JB weld in. And then I'm going to leave it overnight. There goes nothing. Oh, it's probably as good as it's, that's as good as it's going to get for this custom. Cool. Might not even need to JB. Maybe we'll just go straight up. Straight up glue this baby. I think we're going to be okay with just gluing it. I put quite a bit in there. 
I'm putting a bunch of JB Weld on top of the JB Weld it doesn't really matter anyway because it's clamped onto this little brittle wall so if you just torque it too much I could break this in half but for now we got one complete little body so that is very epic feeling pretty good about that good old Studebaker good for parts <laughs> Who'd have thought? Okay, let's get this out of here and we gotta figure out a base before we go any further. So I ended up going back to the plastic base. I took off the uh, the front screw of it and I'm just fitting it. So the back of the box fits in really nice. And then the front, I just gotta round out a teeny little bit so this is going to work out really well. So, so far so good here. Doing all this work, cutting all this out, I guess I could have just copied this one exactly, which is kind of what I ended up anyways. What an idiot. All right, so I've got our base pretty well finished. Tried to pick some tough looking wheels. I got our glass in the truck. I want to see if everything is going to go together here. Fits, fits pretty good actually. Uh, this might be my favorite little truck. I don't know yet. Probably could have did maybe. I don't know those running boards. Yeah, they look all right. I like these wheels. I think making it a dually is just kind of out of the question. Just kind of limited on space, if you know what I'm saying. So I think we'll keep this one the way it is. So far, so good. So I'm going to strip this down, give it one more good clean. And we can do some painting, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So I spent a bunch of time this morning cleaning up the old Iwata minty overhaul turns out what the problem was with the bone shaker was the water trap was completely full on my compressor right to the top so when i said i got a little spray of water that's exactly what it was i got a little mist of water and it just foamed with the clear coat and i think that happened on both the cars so my bad so I'm thinking we need to redeem ourselves with an epic paint job on this creation, whatever we're calling it. I'm going to start off with a white Steinle Res primer. Okie dokie, so I have masked off a little buggy here and my intention is to get kind of a silver on the bottom. I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then I'm going to hit the whole thing with some uh, sparkles and then we're going to clear coat this bad boy. 
Alright, I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but I cut out some pinstripes. Very, very skinny. Could be a fail, I don't know. I feel like we need something on that seam, you know, just to break it up a little bit. You guys know what I'm saying. Okay, that's a start. That is a start. It's like playing with a hair. It's like putting a big pube on the side of this truck. Oh, well, it's pretty good, I'd say. That was tough. That was really tough. So we're going to give this a uh, few minutes to dry. I'm going to force heat it a little bit and then uh, I'm going to clear coat it. So I'm in the middle of clear coating and I don't really like the look we're ending up with here. Oh, it's just too plain. So I mixed a little bit of root beer brown into my clear coat. Get some more color in there because it's just, I don't know, it's not right. It's not right for this truck. I'm sure a lot of you guys are agreeing with me right now. So I'm going to add a little bit of color to that and see what happens. All right, so I did an assembly. And this is going to come as a shock to you, but I, I went pretty heavy on the brown, but overall I'm really feeling it. I think you guys are going to like it too. Introducing the one, the only, Big Chocolate! <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> blue, blue, blue. <laughs> what a creation. What a stunning creation I love this thing paint went eh, went okay I don't know above these little wheel wheel wells little teeny bit of bubbling from the the decal every time I use mark fit like I don't have 24 hours to let the mark fit totally evaporate so it's just not working out for me I got a schedule it's pretty sad when I can cure paint quicker than I can cure the mark fit so Little, little oopsie above each wheel well, but overall, pretty cool, pretty cool. Kind of looks like it's supposed to be that way. I especially like the effect that we got going on above the silver down here. That looks really good with that chocolate brown on it, doesn't it? Looks like it's its own custom paint, and the top is... I see it a little bit different than you guys are going to see it in the recording. The bottom is awesome, the top is meh, but whatever, I mean, it's a... It's a little heavy hauler truck that I can use on the show. And I kept the stuff off the Studebaker. A little bumper and the lights. And they're kind of dorky, but I mean it's kind of a little dork wagon anyway, so. Very cool little unit. Quite happy with it. Half five big chocolate. I'm feeling it. Anyways guys, I gotta go for supper. So I gotta get this edited. Leave a like if you enjoyed this crazy custom and you want to see more stuff like this totally into cutting up cars and making new ones so if you guys like that kind of thing leave me a thumbs up i'll see you in the next one later guys oh i forgot to show you look how neat the bottom is it's nice and tidy under there right right <laughs>